Welcome to our benchmark video, where we delve into the fascinating world of car stereo units. Our journey into the realm of car stereo units begins with a fascinating comparison between Android 13 and Android 10. We have two remarkable devices ready for a head-to-head -head evaluation. To kick things off, our first point of examination will be the boot-up speed. Both units are drawing power from the same supply, and I've initiated the power-up process simultaneously for an impartial assessment. Join me as we delve into this essential performance benchmark to see how these two head units stack up against each other. The road to uncovering their capabilities is just beginning, so let's venture forward together and explore the world of in-car entertainment systems. As anticipated, the performance of my new car stereo system featuring Android 13 and boasting 3GB of ROM outshone the Android 10 device in terms of boot-up speed. However, it's important to note that the difference in boot-up time wasn't substantial, ensuring a relatively smooth and efficient start for both systems. Now, let's transition to the realm of settings, where we begin to unearth some intriguing differences between these two car stereo systems. Upon entering the settings menu, you'll quickly notice that the car stereo equipped with Android 13 offers a personalized and tailor-made settings interface. Interestingly, a notable distinction arises at this point. The Android 13 device seems to have omitted the inclusion of the stock Android settings that are usually readily accessible. It appears that the focus here is on delivering a unique and highly tailored settings interface, distinct from the more standard Android settings we often encounter. This variance adds an intriguing layer to our comparison, shedding light on how Android versions can impact the user experience, especially when it comes to the settings and customization options available. As we delve deeper into the comparison, more interesting contrasts and similarities are sure to come to the forefront. So, stay with us as we continue this exploration into the world of car stereo systems.
OU may have already discerned the distinctions between both devices, but I'd like to highlight a crucial aspect that sets the Android 13 device apart. This distinction lies within the Steering Learn system, which introduces a unique and valuable feature that is notably absent in the Android 10 device. Specifically, in the Android 13 version, users have the option to interact with the device using both short presses and long presses on the steering wheel buttons. This dual functionality offers a more intuitive and versatile user experience, granting greater control over the unit's functions. Furthermore, perhaps the most noteworthy aspect is the Android 13 version's compatibility with both Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, catering to Android and iPhone users alike. The inclusion of these sought-after features opens up a world of seamless smartphone integration, transforming your in-car experience. As this is a substantial topic on its own, I'm looking forward to dedicating a separate video to delve into the intricacies of Android Auto and CarPlay functionality, exploring their benefits and how to maximize their usage. If you found the insights in this video valuable and informative, I kindly encourage you to show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. Your support is greatly appreciated and motivates us to continue delivering content that matters. Until our next video, stay connected with Setinfix as we continue to uncover the ever-evolving world of automotive technology.